Hi, my name is Tom Haddigan. I'm the author and the creator of this new YouTube channel dedicated to mixed martial arts and boxing. Today I'm looking at the Filipino champion, three, three division champion, John Riel Casimero, because um, he's scheduled to fight in 2025 and there seem to be two outstanding candidates to actually be part of that matchup. The first is the American X World champion, Brandon Figueroa. This is Brandon on the right here. And the second is the uh, Uzbekistan um, ex double world champion, Akhmad Aliyev on the left here. So let's uh, just remind ourselves. Uh, this is uh, Casimero, uh, three division world champion, dispatching one of his opponents on the left here. Now let's remind ourselves about his um, CV, his fighting record, which is quite distinguished. He first became a world champion by beating the Argentinian Luis Alberto Lozate. We know about that. I've done that in a previous video. Um, he then beat Guevara, who was an ex-world champion. He beat Salguero, um, an ex-world champion. He then beat Santos, who never has been a world champion, but he lost and then beat Amnat, uh, Ruin Roeg, um, a world champion an ex-world champion, of course. He beat Charles Lee Edwards, an ex-world champion. Um, Sultan has never been a world champion. Tete was a very fine world champion. Um, Casimero won his bantamweight title by beating Tete. He retained it by beating another ex-world champion, Micah. He retained it by beating uh, Rigondo. Rigondo has created problems for many, many fighters, uh, but Casimero was able to deal with them um, quite decisively. He's uh, recently had a draw against Oguni. This is an ex-world champion, and then he fought uh, Saul Sanchez. So if we look at Casimero's record, he has beaten seven current or ex-world champions. I mean, that's quite an outstanding um, track record, I think. We know that he's a three-division world champion. He's had a meteoric rise in 2019. His his boxing career has been impeded, slowed down by some poor decisions on his part, some poor decisions on his management part. Uh, just bad fortune. He was scheduled to fight Inoue, the Japanese multi-world champion, uh, during the COVID period, but uh, it wasn't, the details weren't pleasing to both managers or sets of management, and uh, the fight never took place. Um, so he's had some issues with uh, poor navigation in his career. But just to remember and remind ourselves, he had a fabulous year in 2019. Um, he does have a record of an outstanding record of beating three, um, seven different world champions or ex-world champions. OK, this is the American fighter, Figueroa. He's actually quite young, maybe 27. Let's look at his record. Um, he's... Um, OK, he won his uh, interim title in uh, 2019. And um, he's then defended it, retained it, retained it. Then he's um, retained his WBA regular, but won the WBC Super Bantamweight. OK, so this, this is an ex-world champion. And then he loses to a very fine uh, ex-world champion called Stephen Fulton. He lost his WBC Super Bantamweight and his WBO Super Bantamweight. This is a great fighter. Lewis Neri is a good fighter. Fulton is actually a great fighter. Um, he then beat Castro, Maxeo and Magdaleno. I think these are all three ex-world champions. So you see that um, Figueroa is actually an outstanding prospect. He certainly sees himself returning to world championship status. So because he's not the mandatory for the major boxing organizations, I think Figueroa against Casimero would be a real possibility. But there's another potential opponent. This is the Uzbekistani fighter called Akmandaliev. Now he has uh, much fewer matchups, much fewer contests. But if you see him carefully, in his eighth fight, he beat Roman to win the WBA Super and IBF Super Bantamweight titles. He retained it against Iwasa. He then beat Velasquez. He then beat Rios. And then he lost to a fine ex-world champion, Tapeles. Then he went on to beat a, um, a good fighter, Gonzalez. 
I mean, Gonzalez and Rios have never been world champions. Topalis has, Iwasa has, and Roman has. So both of these potential uh, opponents are actually outstanding. And um, there's a very good chance that in 2025, we will see Casemiro uh, scheduled to meet one of these two fighters. Let me just point out, who do I think will win? I think that Casemiro will beat uh, Figueroa if they fight. And what about if Casemiro fights Akman Daliev? I think that uh, Casemiro would win.